Queensland's next governor will be Chief Justice Paul de Jersey. The state's top judge will take over from Penelope Wensley at the end of July. Jonathan Lee was at today's announcement. From senior legal eagle to the Queen's man in Queensland. Her Majesty the Queen has formally agreed to appoint uh, the Chief Justice Paul de Jersey as the next governor of the state of Queensland. With his wife of 43 years by his side, the father and grandfather accepted the position. It is a great honour to have been appointed to this high office. It's one the Army Reservists seem destined to achieve. He graduated from UQ with honours before being appointed to the Queensland Bar in 1971. It was just 36 when appointed to the bench. 13 years later, he was Queensland's Chief Justice. I will at all times and in all things do equal justice to the poor and rich. There was an early indication as to how he would lead. I'd like to promote inclusiveness, further steps along the road to reconciliation. But that won't include gay marriage. The Premier says the appointment isn't political. The formal uh, approach to the palace uh, to Her Majesty occurred well and truly before Christmas last year. This is the, an appointment that has the support of the broader Queensland community as well. Being governor would usually mean a pay cut for the Chief Justice, but his current salary of around $467,000 will remain unchanged. The beautiful government house will soon enough become the family's new home. But with the promotion comes the question of exactly who will replace the state's top judge. We'll enjoy welcoming people to Government House and learning as much as I possibly can. Current Governor Penelope Wensley will step down at the end of July. Jonathan Lee, 10 Eyewitness News.